Hey guys, welcome back to your library's YouTube channel and happy holidays. After such important holidays as Black Friday and Cyber Monday, I'm sure your wallets are empty, which is why in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a paper craft, one that's inexpensive, but really high in value, and it's a great gift for the holidays. Today, I'll be showing you how to assemble your Kwanzaa bead craft kits. So let's get started. First, grab a free craft kit from the Bay County Public Library, available while supplies last. Inside the kit should be some paper bead designs, a stick we call a dowel, and a bit of thread. You'll also need scissors, tape, or glue, and crayons or markers to color your designs or make your own. Using your crayons or markers, color the design you want to use first. Next, cut out the design you colored using scissors. Once you have your triangle, it's time for the actual bead making. Place the wide base of your triangle on your dowel and begin to roll it while holding the base down. You want this to be a tight roll. Ask for help if you need it. Once it's all rolled up, use a dot of glue or a small piece of tape to keep the paper from unrolling. And that's how the beads are made. Every bead comes out looking different based on the shapes you cut at the beginning. So try different ways of cutting out your paper for different shapes and designs. You can also trace your cut onto other paper and use the tracings to make as many beads as you like. But the title of this video is Kwanzaa Beads, so what's the whole Kwanzaa part about? Kwanzaa is a week-long celebration of African culture that takes place at the end of December. But you don't have to be of African descent to celebrate Kwanzaa. Anyone that celebrates Kwanzaa is celebrating all of the contributions that African people have made to the world through science or stories or technology or values or even people. And even though Kwanzaa discusses different moral values, it's not a religious holiday, so you can celebrate it alongside whatever holiday you're practicing with your family. Kwanzaa begins December 26th, and people usually celebrate it by wearing traditional African clothing, by giving away gifts, and by participating in a gigantic feast day at the end of the celebrations. But the two most important parts of Kwanzaa is number one, the kinari, which is used to hold up the candles, and of course, the candles themselves. There are seven candles when celebrating Kwanzaa. Each candle represents one day, and each one of those days represents one moral or value to be celebrated. Umoja which means unity in our families and communities. Kujichagulia, self-determination, to decide who you are and who you want to be. Ujima, which means collective work and responsibility, means working together to build our communities and help each other through difficult times. Ujama, cooperative economics, means that we create products and provide services that we can sell to make our communities a better place. Nia means purpose, making our purpose to help grow, improve, and better our families and communities. Kumba means creativity, to focus on fun, beautiful ways of using the values and culture we inherit. And Imani, which means faith, to believe in our people, our parents, our teachers, our leaders, and ourselves. If you're interested in learning more about Kwanzaa, I'll leave some books from the library in the description below. Go ahead and feel free to put those on hold. And rewatch this video if you want, starting December 26th, if you want to help remember every day of Kwanzaa. For more STEAM crafts and tips, subscribe to your library's YouTube channel to be informed when we release more content like this. Thanks for watching. This was Kyle from the Bay County Public Library, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.